a later time if you would like. Um, and, uh, and I also want to encourage you, uh, please share your questions throughout the presentation here in the chat. Um, we're going to address um, all outstanding questions at the end of this presentation, just to be um, um, cognizant of everyone's time. Uh, I want to be able to keep um, to, to get through our presentation and have plenty of time for questions um, at the end. But again, please do uh, put those in the chat. Um, and so take advantage of that Q&A feature here on the webinar. Um, so let me start with our agenda for the, uh, for the day. So again, my name is, is Joey Gerisi. Um, uh, I serve as the Assistant Dean for Student Services um, at the OU Hudson College of Public Health. I'm going to talk a little bit more about um, our college, um, OU Online, and these programs shortly. Um, and so, so today, here's just a, a quick rundown of the things we're going to talk about in this webinar. Um, introduce you to the program, to our university, uh, to talk more about our degree program and certificate program, um, as well as um, our frequently asked questions related to the admissions process, um, the wonderful student support that you uh, would have as an OU Online student. Um, and of course, then we'll get into some Q&A. So again, I, I think I've said it for the third time now, my name is Joey Gerisi. Um, just a quick note on, on my background. So I'm a former graduate of the University of Oklahoma. I'm a three-time graduate. I earned my law degree and my Master of Health Administration uh, degree here at OU. Um, our MHA program is actually a program offered by the OU Hudson College of Public Health. Um, and then I also earned my undergraduate degree from OU. So um, I have a lot of, I had a wonderful experience as a past student. I'm um, passionate about uh, the student experience at our college for our graduate students. Um, and I'm, I'm thrilled again that you're joining us today to learn more about um, two of our programs that are fully online. Um, and I'm going to talk a little more about the structure of, of our college shortly, but um, I'm actually based in Oklahoma City, uh, and uh, that's some of my contact information right there. So quick little overview about the University of Oklahoma. Um, we might have some of you that are joining us might be um, OU students or OU grads or be familiar with OU. But just to kind of give a, a quick overview, um, the University of Oklahoma is known as the flagship research university um, here in the state of Oklahoma. Um, we're at a Carnegie R1 level, which means that we have um, very high amounts of research that are done um, through our institution. Um, and we also offer uh, doctoral degree programs related to that research. Um, and we offer those, uh, those programs at many campuses. Our home campus, our main OU campus is located in Norman, Oklahoma. And that's where I got my undergraduate degree from. Uh, but we also have campuses in Tulsa. We have the health sciences campus in Oklahoma City um, that I'm a part of. And of course we now have um, you know, an online campus we have with OU Online. Um, but the, the main portion of the university that's in Norman, uh, there's 13, 13 degree granting colleges. And as you can see, we uh, enroll many students, um, over 30,000 students enroll per year. A couple notes about OU Online, which is um, one of our newer um, colleges or uh, programs, I guess you could, you could refer to OU Online as, but a new degree option for our students. Um, it was established in 2020. Uh, being myself as a part of the College of Public Health, um, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic is certainly something that we're familiar with, and I know all of you are familiar with, that that made us aware of, um, it put us in a new situation to where we were wanting to do more things online, from working online, to courses online, to um, seeing our doctor online. So we're, as the University of Oklahoma, we're keeping up with the times now in that we offer many programs now that are fully online. Um, like it says on here, we were established in 2020 to better meet the needs of online learners. And I, and I think that's that's a really important thing to think about for um, who OU Online can serve that we have not been able to serve before. And I think it might be some of you that work full time um, or have individuals that maybe want to get finish their undergraduate degree or pursue a graduate level degree, but with your work schedule or with your life 
um, schedule. He may not have been able to uh, pursue an in-person traditional degree. And so OU Online has been able to meet um, that huge gap in the market here in Oklahoma. And now we offer, um, as you can see on here, more than 45 graduate programs, many under undergraduate uh, completion options. And of course, the two that we're going to talk about today are related to uh, public and population health. And so kind of get to our next slide. I wanted to provide a brief overview of the College of Public Health. Um, so again, we've talked about OU, we've talked about the purpose that OU online services, and now, um, you know, the OU Hudson College of Public Health um, is another multi-campus college that we have at OU um, that is purely focused on uh, improving public health. The, the mission for the college is to protect and improve the health of people through our public health education, workforce development, research, service, and advocacy. And you can see from this slide that we have a lot of history at the Hudson College of Public Health. Uh, we were founded in 1967 and have maintained consistent accreditation since 1969. So essentially our entire existence as a college, we've been accredited. We also are very proud that we're the only SEAP accredited school of public health. SEAP is the Council on Education for Public Health. Um, that is a, um, an independent accrediting body here in the United States that accredits schools of public health and programs of public health. Again, we're the only school of public health in Oklahoma. And that means that the degree offerings that we have, the research that we do is absolutely up to the university standard and follows the competency models that are expected for those that wanna pursue uh, public health careers. Um, so we're very proud of that. We also have other um, accredited programs uh, that aren't even public health programs. Our Master of Health Administration program is fully accredited, it's the only one in Oklahoma, and our MS Investor of Hygiene is also the only fully accredited program in Oklahoma. Um, but again, our college is, is actually, you know, we're part of OU, but we're also part of OU Health Sciences, which is primarily based in Oklahoma City, but we do have a campus in Tulsa as well. And so we're one of the very few um, campuses in the country where we have all of our health sciences related colleges on one campus um, that are all related to our academic medical center um, where there's opportunities for interprofessional development. So we're very proud of that as well. Um, I also just on this slide wanted to share what our college's website is. Um, I'll share that again towards the end of the presentation. As I mentioned before, being fully accredited as a school of public health, we offer many different um, discipline areas for our degrees. And so as an example, you could be an MPH student, a master of public health student, in all of those different discipline areas that are mentioned up top, from biostatistics to environmental health, to health administration and policy. We offer many different degree um, disciplines and specializations. Um, and we think that's important because the field of public health is very interdisciplinary. Um, there are many different types of professionals that work in public health to improve public, public health. And so um, we're proud that we have um, different departments that do innovative research and offer many different degree options for our students, depending on what their area of interest is. And so um, in addition to all those discipline areas, right, we have many different types of degrees in general. We offer MPHs for all those discipline areas. Um, our MHA is a Master of Health Administration. That's a uh, focused kind of healthcare business degree, if you think of it. Um, we offer Master of Science degrees, which are really um, research-focused master's level degrees for those that maybe want to continue on um, and uh, work in research and possibly pursue a PhD level education. Um, and then we offer uh, doctoral degrees, PhDs in, in those discipline areas as well. So we're, um, we offer many different options for our students depending on what type of field you want to go into, whether you want to be focused on research or if you want to be a public health professional um, in one of these career areas. And so that gets us to talk some of the more details about our two programs today that you, um, uh, why you're attending this uh, in the first place, this webinar. 
So we're going to talk about two programs, the Online Master of Public Health um, in Community and Population Health, as well as an online graduate certificate um, in uh, Population and Public Health. So you can see here on the slide, we talk about the way that the programs are structured. And this is really how all of our programs through OU Online um, are offered. Um, there, there's wonderful benefits for being an OU Online student in that you have um, a lot of flexibility in terms of the courses, uh, the number of courses that you're taking each semester, um, and the way that you're learning and communicating with your um, with faculty members um, and with others in your courses. So um, we generally recommend that you know students might take three courses in the spring and fall. That would be nine hours generally. And that would be full-time graduate level study. Full-time for the summer actually would be um, less than that. We've said many students can take two courses during the summer um, in an accelerated eight-week format, um, whereas our fall and spring semesters are 16 weeks. So they kind of follow a traditional academic um, academic calendar. And OU online students, you know, a great benefit again is that it's 100% online. You're going to have the opportunity to um, access your courses um, asynchronously, where you're going to be able to access um, uh, class videos to do assignments more on your time rather than um, during a set period of time each week. You're going to be able to adjust that to what your personal uh, work schedule um, or what your individual schedule is. And so some ways that OU Online, in, um, since only being open in 2020, we've uh, OU Online has learned a lot in terms of how we can offer the best online education to our students. And so um, you'll have many opportunities uh, to engage with other students and with your faculty members through um, highly developed video presentations, sometimes live conferences with um, other students or faculty, um, ways that we're actually embedding video clips um, and course content in your Canvas course. We're gonna talk about what Canvas means in a minute. Um, but there is a, a, long story short, there are many ways that you're gonna be able to have an interactive, um, immersive experience that fits your schedule and fits your time. Um, and so we we have quite a, uh, actually a lot of support for OU Online to be able to be successful um, in navigating these things online. Um, as you can see on here in the slide, it also talks about um, that we have a Canvas learning platform. Many of you, um, maybe through your undergraduate experiences or even from high school before, have, might have used Canvas as your learning system before. That's the platform that we utilize to access all of your courses, to uh, connect and message classmates, um, to access course content. It really is a hub um, for you to access things for your course. And so we've um, we've learned a lot about how we can um, use Canvas to the best of its ability um, in making your experience as valuable as possible. Um, and again, I just wanted to stress that it's it's a great benefit that there's not a set class time for your courses. It's going to be very flexible. Um, there might be uh, there might be things that are due each week. But you're going to have flexibility in how you complete them um, and when you complete them on content. So to get to a little bit of the differences between these two programs, right? We have an online MPH, again, it's an online Master of Public Health in Community and Population Health. Um, it, I wanna stress again that this degree is part of our college, the OU Hudson College of Public Health and OU Online, um, it's an OU Online program. And so it has to meet the CEEP accreditation standards. And what, why that's important, again, is you want to ensure that if you're getting a master's degree, especially in public health, that that degree is up to the standards that are expected. You're going to pursue a public health career. And so know that the way that our courses are structured, the types of courses that you have to take for all of our programs, they're geared specifically to ensure that you meet the minimum standards that are expected of a public health professional, but also that... Um, they meet the extra requirements for schools of public health. Um, we 
all of our MPH students have to take what are called core public health courses. And these courses are basically the introductory graduate level courses for you to get a basic understanding of what epidemiology is, what biostatistics is, um, how someone that works in social and behavioral sciences, the types of things that they um, would encounter in their work. So you're gonna get a firm grounding in the core public health disciplines, at least at an introductory level. And then after you get those core courses out of the way, you're gonna have more flexibility um, to take more electives and other courses that maybe focus in an area of interest that you have. And again, all of our MPH students, whether you're an MPH and biostatistics student, or if you're an MP online MPH student, all of those students are gonna take our same um, core uh, MPH courses. I also wanted to stress that our courses are competency-based. And what that means is, is that you being a student in the class, when you enter that course, you should be able to, to uh, when you start that course, to see the types of competencies that you should learn by the time you're completed um, in this course. Because we want to ensure that you have the um, education that um, you are, uh, that you're wanting to seek, that you have these skills that are necessary to be effective in your careers. Um, and so all of our courses and the way that our program is, is structured around competencies where you're able to learn those kind of basic level competencies through your courses, but you're actually able to apply them in practical settings and work products that you um, complete through the program. And so one way that you actually get to further develop your competency in these areas is through your practicum experience. All of our MPH students um, have a required practicum that's part of um, the MPH experience. And you can complete a practicum, which is like an internship that's focused in a particular area of interest um, with a practicum host site that you get to decide um, decide on. You get to connect with and define um, projects that you can, can help with. So we have students that do practicums here in the state of Oklahoma. We've had students that do them all around the country from Washington to Florida. Um, and then what we're really excited about with this online program now is that we're gonna have the opportunity where you can choose to either do a practicum experience in person, depending on where you live or where you would like to do your practicum experience, or where you could do a practicum online, maybe fully online, um, where you're able to provide to do projects for an organization that is needing your skills. Um, but you're, it's, it's a win-win for both the organization and for you and that you're getting that practical experience where you can learn, um, where you can develop your competency in public health. And then your practicum side is getting the opportunity to have some, um, to maybe find a potential new employee for the future um, and to have um, assistance with projects that are in your interest area. So it's, it's a very popular part of our program. We think it's very important that our students get that practical experience. A couple other things to highlight about our program. Um, all of our MPH students are required to take the certified in public health exam. Um, and for all students that pass the exam, you will get the designation of CPH, meaning you're certified in public health. Um, that is a, a valued credential in the public health community. Um, and employers do look for that. Um, and so to kind of point out to the right side of our screen, you can see what um, the program link is. Um, we have designed the online MPH program where you complete it in two years. Um, we, we put about 20 months um, uh, here on, on the screen. Um, that comprises about 17 courses, 45 credit hours total for the degree. And um, one thing I do love too about our programs Value you online is it is a flat fee. The cost is very transparent. You would pay $575 per credit hour, um, and you would only pay that for each semester that you're enrolled. So as an example, if you were enrolled in six hours in a semester, you take six, multiply that times 575, and that would be your total bill um, for that semester. So similar to our online MPH, um, we have an online certificate of population health. And so this is um, what I like to think of as kind of a pared down version of the types of courses and, and education you would receive through the MPH program. 
instead of pursuing a full 20 hour, or excuse me, a full 20 uh, month, 45 credit hour program, you would have the chance to do a 12 hour uh, program that could be completed in as few as just two semesters. Um, and it's only four courses. And so those courses are actually the four that are mentioned here, principles of epidemiology, social behavioral sciences, environmental health, US healthcare systems. All four of these are core public health courses. And so these courses are also required for the online MPH program. A great benefit of for someone that wants to maybe dip your toe into public health, maybe start in the certificate program. Um, if you're still trying to decide if you want to pursue a full master's or just get a certificate, is you could pursue this certificate first. All these courses will transfer into an online MPH. So um, you could potentially start in the online certificate program, um, learn some of those core uh, basic uh, foundational courses. And if you want to continue on and get a full degree, um, you could receive the certificate and continue on into our online MPH program and all the courses will fully transfer. Um, again, this program would have the same cost at 575 per credit hour, but of course it's 12 hours versus the 45 per MPH. I just wanted to highlight that um, we could certainly go over many of our um, faculty members. We, we have faculty members in all of those different departments that I went through before. Um, all of your faculty that you'll have through, through OU Online, through our programs, and really through any OU Online program, um, are going to be taught by practitioners with a master's degree or higher. So you do know that these are qualified individuals that have um, a sufficient academic credentials. Um, they are only going to be recruited and teaching on courses that they have specific expertise in. And, um, and they're going to be focused on offering this, um, offering this education in a specialized online format. Um, our OU online courses are, again, specially designed for online learners, for those that might have jobs that um, limit where you can't come for it at a certain time. And our professors and our faculty members understand this and they design their courses to be able to, so that you can properly balance work and life. Um, and so you can have a wonderful experience. So I did want to spend a couple minutes just talking about our general admission requirements for the program. Um, all of our, um, those that want to apply, um, apply through our online application. I'm going to share the link for that towards the end of this presentation. Um, but it is a free online application. I probably should have emphasized that on the slide. Um, but the basic admission requirements is that you have a bachelor's degree, um, that you share with us official transcripts from all of your past undergrad or graduate institutions attended. Um, we ask for a resume or CV just to kind of get to know you better and um, your past experiences. Uh, you also would do a personal statement to describe maybe your career goals for why you're planning to pursue this program or how it could help you in your career. And then I don't know if we have individuals joining today or that are joining, um, that are watching this I'm on replay that uh, might be coming out of the country, um, but we do have English proficiency requirements for those who don't have English as your first language or from um, outside the country. And so there are a couple exams that you could, could take for that. Um, there also are some other ways to have that requirement waived. Um, I wanted to stress a couple things that are not on this slide. Um, first, that we, um, again, it's a fully, it's a free, fully online application. Um, I've included on there 3.0 GPA as our, as the required GPA. There is some flexibility where we could potentially admit someone with less than a 3.0 GPA. Um, and we certainly will, again, the application's free. So um, we will certainly have, can, can have those discussions um, after an application is submitted. We also care a lot about ensuring that you get a quick decision from us. Once we have all the application materials that are needed for an application, we send it right on to our committee for quick review. And we put on here two to three weeks. We really strive to try to have you a decision within a week. Um, One of the highlight that we also do rolling admissions, which means that we can admit for all different semesters throughout the year. 
So right now we're still considering students for summer. And so um, if you're joining, um, I would encourage you, if you'd like to get started this summer, and we're gonna have multiple course options this summer. Um, and so we have a, a deadline all the way up to May 20th. I certainly encourage you to get started sooner than later um, so that we could um, get you heard before the, get your application reviewed um, and potentially welcome you into the OU Online and PH family sooner than later. But, um, but again, we have admission deadlines throughout the year and we're consistently reviewing applications and admitting students throughout the year. So um, just know that you could join any semester. So a couple of things I wanted to highlight about what to expect as a um, OU online applicant, someone that wants to, has applied and wants to um, start our program is to definitely check your email that you utilize in your application um, to look for communications um, or for an admission decision that would be submitted to that email address. Um, all of our programs do require an enrollment deposit. Um, I believe it's just $100. Um, it's not an extra fee. It's just $100 that would go be counted towards your tuition. Um, and so that is how um, once you pay that deposit, we consider that that you are joining us and you've accepted your admission offer. And so you would see that um, in your admission letter, um, how to complete that. So after you would pay your deposit, your OUHSC email would be activated. Again, OUHSC is the OU Health Sciences Center. Um, you would have an OUHSC email uh, being a student in either of these, either of these programs. And you would utilize this email account. The other next step would be to uh, connect with your advisor um, so that you could talk about what courses you're gonna take in your first semester and also set out a course of study for you to make sure that your experiences um, meets all of your expectations. Um, I know we're running a little short on time, but I did just wanna mention that there are um, student resources, um, a plethora of resources available to all OU online students. Um, there's a link here with more details about um, these types of services, everything from library services, online mental health counseling. Um, there really are a lot of opportunities that you can have as a student. So we want to ensure that you have a wonderful experience and that nothing's holding you back from having a wonderful experience. Here are a couple of FAQs. Um, I think I already kind of highlighted these through the presentation, but just some common questions we get about how much does it cost. Um, again, it's a flat rate of $575 per credit hour. So your payment each semester would just depend on how many courses you enroll in. Um, there are differences between the programs in terms of how many hours are required. Um, you, we are flexible in terms of how many hours you can enroll in each semester. Um, usually it's as few as three. We might have students that enroll in, in up to 12. Um, I will say that to qualify for federal student aid, our MPH program does qualify for federal student aid as a master's program. And you would need to be enrolled in, whether it's the fall or the spring, in six hours. Um, whereas during the summer, if you're in three hours, um, that, that would qualify for financial aid. Um, there also is a common question about whether um, credit hours are transfer. Um, we, it will depend on the type of coursework. If it's similar type of coursework that we offer through our program, then it's possible, um, but that will just vary um, depending on the coursework, but we're, we definitely will consider. All right, so I wanted to see, um, we're kind of towards the end of our presentation. Um, I wanted to see if we had any questions. I think my friend Crystal is gonna share. Um, I would just add a couple couple kind of common questions that might be helpful. Um, all of our students that are part of OU Online are welcome and encouraged to participate in our uh, graduation ceremonies we call commencement. And so you are considered a part of the OU family, even if you're online. Um, um, and so know that, that you would have um, that same graduation experience that all of our other students do. Um, another common question is whether de your degree will mention anything about being online. Your degree will look like that of any of our other master's degrees. So it would say a master of public health. 
um, in community and population health, just like our students that are in in person version of the program would receive. Um, I did see a question about, is it possible to rewatch this seminar? Because I know I went over a lot of things. Um, it absolutely will be possible. This will be made, um, this is recorded, will be made available online um, for you to watch again. And um, just contact OU online if, if you're unable to find it. And we can definitely uh, make sure that you can rewatch this anytime. I see a question about, is the MSW MPH dual degree program fully online? It is not at this time fully online. The dual degree program is not fully online. Um, we do have this fully online MPH. Um, I believe there is a fully online master of uh, social work degree. At the moment, there is not a formal dual degree that cuts hours from both programs, but um, that's a great question. And it might be something that we look to, to update for the future. Part of the reason why that's not available is that the dual degree is actually an MPH in health promotion sciences, along with the Master of Social Work. And so that's why um, it does not exist yet. But great question. A couple more things before, before we close for today. I just wanted to, um, oh, I do see another question. Um, how many hours is the practicum? That's a great question. Um, it is 240 hours um, as of the moment. Um, there is a potential that we might have uh, reduced hours in the future, um, but it, we want to ensure that um, you have a meaningful experience where you're able to complete work products that are a benefit to the organization and develop your competency further. And so 240 hours um, is really a very standard amount um, for students um, to be able to, to complete those, uh, those types of work products and those experiences. Seeing no more questions, I just wanted to point out a couple more ways that you can connect with us. Um, so please feel free to call or email us. That's one way that you can connect with us. Um, again, I'm part of the OU Hudson College of Public Health Student Services team. And so this phone number is directly to our student services office. We also have a special email that all of us have access to that's specific for our online students. And so that's public health online at ouhsc.edu. So feel free to um, utilize that for a quick way to get in touch with any of us. I also, I know the QR codes are a, often a more a quicker and easier way to connect sometimes. So these links, one of the links goes to our College of Public Health website. The other allows you a way to schedule an appointment with us. Um, and you can schedule that appointment in person, you can meet with us online on Zoom or Teams. Um, there's also a way to um, schedule a phone appointment with us. And so we would love to get to know each of you better to answer more questions that you might have that you weren't able to ask today um, and to share anything that, um, and to answer any questions that you may have. But again, I would encourage you to um, apply. You know, why not apply now? Um, start gathering your application materials and. Um, and find out what's what's needed to apply now. Again, it's a free application. It's fully um, it goes. It's fully through OUHSC, and that's the link for it. Um, we also have a couple other links on here how you can find more info about OU online, as well as if you want to learn about the other programs that we offer at the OU Hudson College of Public Health. Um, our website is publichealth.ouhsc.edu. I have my contact information on here. And before we go, I thought it might be helpful as well for me to just share, um, to show on the screen what some of these websites look like, um, just so you you ensure that you're going to the right place um, after you click these links. So put aside here, I'm gonna change screens to my browser. Um, you can see here, this is the website for the Hudson College of Public Health. If you are looking for info on our different programs, you would go to our prospective students section. Um, and once you log on here, um, it has information on all of our different departments, all of our different programs. And so we have both of our online programs featured here. If you click on, as an example, our MPH online program, 
it would take you to the OU online page for this uh, online computing program. Um, so that's, these are kind of some of the common links you'll see. Uh, it actually has a direct link here uh, to apply with more info about the coursework and the common questions that we have. This other link that I wanted to show you is once you click apply now and look to apply for the program, this is what your opening screen is going to look like. It is the admissions and records office for OUHSC. So you would go down here to create an account and to apply as a student for the first time. Um, and then anytime that you need to log in, to access your application again, you just log in through here. Want to double check real quick? Do we have any more questions? Okay. Well, seeing that, um, again, I really appreciate everyone for joining us today. Um, it's been a pleasure to talk with you some more about what are um, the different program options that you have for OU Online. And uh, we look forward to connecting with you soon and um, seeing many of you apply. So I hope you have a great afternoon and thanks again for joining us.